I'm Charles Holsoppel, Executive Director of the Institute for Education, Research, and Scholarships, a co-sponsor of today's event, along with Humanity Plus, People Unlimited, and the California Transhumanist Party. I believe that creationism and evolution together is existence. So creationism and evolution are not mutually exclusive. In fact, it's a good example, which is Google's AlphaGo. Julian Huxley, he was the first director general of UNESCO. And in 1957, he wrote a paper about transhumanism. So basically, he says the human species can transcend itself in its entirety as humanity. Entirety, the entire human race. And we need a name for this new belief, and he called it transhumanism. And that is the title of the book, <laughs> Transhumanism Handbook. If you culture your organisms like this, with delayed first reproduction in the entire population for multiple generations, you are forcing evolution to produce an organism that will live longer. So in human terms, that's routinely living into your 150s or 160s, some individuals living to 200 years plus to translate from uh, fruit fly into human. Everyone expected somebody else to do it and nobody did. That's the tragedy of the commons. Everyone has resources at their disposal. We all as a society have resources that we can put to use with regards to climate change prevention and nobody does. Because in our society we rely on institutions and organizations to do this for us. And we do not live in a society that encourages, to a sufficient degree, individual action. But of course, in any human endeavor, progress is neither automatic nor inevitable. In some eras, like the Renaissance and the Enlightenment, progress has been amazing, and it has revolutionized the human condition. But there have been centuries of time during the late Roman Empire, during the European Dark Ages, when entire societies stagnated and declined and there was widespread misery. And that is not out of the question in our future. We need to exert active efforts to prevent this. And transhumanists can make a tremendous difference by standing for techno-positive, techno-optimistic, constructive, policy-driven politics instead of toxic, tribal, zero-sum partisanship. Hello, everyone. My name is David Aguilar. You may know me as Han Solo, and I'm a transhumanist since I was born. I'm sending you this video because I cannot assist to Newton Lee's new transhumanism handbook presentation because I'm actually doing a documentary about my life, and you can see it uh, in a few months on Netflix. Thank you very much, Newton, for accepting me on your book, and thank you, all of you, uh, to coming for coming to this presentation. So the transhuman brain asks questions find as much reliable evidence as you possibly can and Humanity Plus represents a diversity the idea there is that maybe sometimes the best things happen if we work hard enough at it. And maybe and, that's how we change. And as the founder of Vulcan Logic says, I'm pleased to see that we have differences. May we together become greater than the sum of both of us. Hi all, I'm Michelle here. I uh, too contributed a uh, chapter called uh, Transhumanism, the Ultimate Hack. Definitely check it out. Uh, we've joined IFERS on the nonprofit domain of the sphere, and together we hope to tackle what we perceive to be the most pressing, invasive, foundational, and even existential problem humanity is facing today, which is the uh, compounding effect of uh, cognitive bias and uh, deterministic thought. We're launching a uh, Wikipedia type platform appropriately called uh, Wikibias, where we will aggregate flag content and are fundraising for this massive and super important task right now. So, I'd like to use this opportunity to invite you 
to talk to Newton about this. He's got this uh, one pager explaining what we're going to attempt to bring down. This wasn't just the flu. This wasn't just a virus. My two-year-old son almost died because I didn't know the symptoms and neither did the doctors. My 15-month-old daughter couldn't speak. She had no way to tell us what she was feeling. For more information, go to easet1d.org. It's even a great thing, sharing feelings with each other. Let's not be stingy human beings anymore. Let's, let's, let's get us going. Let's accelerate our progress. Yes. Right. Let's accelerate our progress. There's so many great scientists, the scientists here in this room and doctors, and Bray and I have moved to, collab to create collaborations. That's why we created People Unlimited. We'd actually get invited to the churches to speak on immortality and super longevity. A lot of these people were, were into it, and we went to the South, we went to the East Coast, uh, we've been on all kinds of TV shows, uh, Larry King Live. Well, Project 222, is, as we've discussed, is the uh, availability of at least minimum of people all over the world of two gallons of clean water, 2,000 nutritional calories, and 200 cubic feet of secure shelter. We can live in love, protecting the human rights. We can live in love, protecting the human rights. Uh -huh. See the children play around in the rain. He had a mom and dad crying out for freedom. See the children play around in the rain. He had a mom and dad crying out for freedom. They have the right to be here. Let's give them a sense of pride. They have the right to be here. Let's give them a sense of pride. The right to shelter, oh. The right to education, oh. The right to food supply, let us see.